Hello and welcome everyone to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. Thank you for joining. How is everyone doing tonight? Right off the bat, I apologize to those on Twitch right now watching this. I had a little bit of technical issues while I was getting set up. I was having some leg in the initial time I tried uh, streaming, but then I restarted my computer and it seems to be going all right now, so I apologize for that. Thank you for everyone else watching on str on a uh, Twitch, YouTube, wherever else you might be watching this. Uh, do, 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 do. Right off the bat, if you guys could please like the video. I'm assuming most of you guys are subscribers and followers on Twitch and YouTube, so I appreciate for the support from all of you guys. Thank you very much, and now that I'm done whoring myself out, let's get into the stream. As you can see by the title of today's video, I'm going to be attempting to do... Ryan Newman's 2009 Talladega Flip Part 2. I've tried this uh, once in the past unsuccessfully. That's why we're here at Part 2. I'll have the link for Part 1 down in the description. You guys can check that out. And without further ado, let's jump right in. No need to show the replay because I believe I did in Part 1. Or you guys can just look it up on your own. Here we got the Car of Tomorrow mod. Hi guys and girls, did you not read the comment? You did read it. How come you asked like four more times where I was? I told you I was restarting the computer. Alright, so there's Ryan Newman's number 39 US Army car. It's going to single race. We're going to do Talladega revamp 2009. We have about 28 cars or so. Easy difficulty, the 2009 roster. Of course, now no one's commenting now that the stream's actually begun. Oh, there we go. Alright, can anyone else see this? I hope so. I got it. The stream's coming through on my laptop up here, so I think it's working. Alright. Sorry, guys. Maybe sooner or later I'll have a producer to maintain all the technical stuff so I don't have to worry about it the entire time I'm trying to do these. Alright, so that is everything settings-wise. Let's jump in. Stop wasting time. Alright, it is coming through. Alright, cool. At least someone's letting me know. Aside from everyone complaining where the stream is, and then the second the stream starts working, everyone just stops talking. Except for giraffes. Alright, let's go into race. Alright, so for this one, I'm not really uh, too concerned about the placement of the AI cars. mainly concerned with Ryan Newman's flip because obviously that's the most important part in this one. People start chit-chat more so I can have that stupid red box go away from high guys and girls having stupid at thing and my name highlighting the entire comment. Otherwise I'm gonna turn the chat off. I hate that that's taken up half the screen. Yes, I know that's not half, but it's really distracting. So, I believe the 45 car was involved in that wreck in real life. <laughs> Alright, Giraffe's trying to help get that comment off the screen. I'm just spamming instead, but I prefer that as opposed to that highlighted comment. As long as it's not vulgarity or virus linked spamming, I don't mind it. So attempt number one, here we go. So I'm just going to turn dead left shortly before turn three in any given car and see what kind of blow over we get. So obviously you guys know what happened in this wreck. It gets on his roof. Alright, let's try that. 
Oh, nope. Nope. Looks like the 15 might get on his roof, though. Yep. Poor Paul Menard. How perfect is that? That Menards has been Paul Menards' sponsor basically ever since he's been in the... Drivers. Been in the series. Alright, until more... Sorry, giraffes. I appreciate the effort, but until more people start commenting, I'm just going to turn the chat off for now. Nothing against you. Just kind of weird having all those words from the same person just on the side. When it's normally for a community chat, but no one's talking right now. So I'm just going to turn it off for now. Nothing against you. Just looks kind of cluttered on the screen. I appreciate the help, though. Attempt number two, numero dos. Duh, in French. Did you know one in French is uh, or uh? I can't even pronounce it right. Yeah, one, two, three, and French is e, de, toi. It's a little bilingual lesson from Cody for you guys. The guy who took intro to French twice in college and flunked both times. That's the guy to get your bilingual lessons from right there. Didn't get upside down. Didn't quite get upside down. Next, attempt number three. Or should I say, trois. Or tres. I don't know German, so I can't say German. Ah, attempt number three. Thank you, anyone that might be just joining in on Twitch. If you might have just recently joined the stream, I'm trying to do Ryan Newman's 2009 Talladega blowover he had on the backstretch. I'm on attempt number three right now, and that's not a good start. I think I can salvage that, though. There's not too much damage on the front. Let's go in car for this. At least getting up to speed. Oh, runs out sideways there again. And then I'll switch back to chase view when I need to spin. bad start there, but then the difficulty is low so I can catch back up and get in front of a few of the cars in the back before I actually need to spin out at the end of the back stretch. There we go. Gotta love 70s difficulty. Alright, so it looks like Kyle Busch is going to be my dude. Is he? Or nope, I'm just going to wait for the next lap, looks like. Oh, you bastard. I looked away. Was that my fault? I wasn't even looking. I looked at the screen for a second. Next thing I knew, I was in the wall. I knew it wasn't my fault. Kind of. Yeah, I was minding my P's and Q's and all those three got together and turned me sideways. I knew I didn't really come down into any car. Have you seen the new format yet? No. I meant to mention that. I have not had a chance to read the new format rules for this upcoming NASCAR Monster Energy 
series, cup, whatever season. But I will, and when I do, I will discuss it on a stream. Damn cat hair in the microphone. Going back, looking through some of my old videos, seeing which ones I've done a part one attempt at, but never actually got the wreck that I haven't done a part two yet. Or just ones that I've done a couple parts to that I haven't gotten a six successful wreck done yet. If you guys have seen any old videos of mine where I didn't ever get a good uh, wreck attempt for a reenactment, that you'd like to see a part two or three or whichever part I'm on for, be sure to go ahead and post your suggestions or which ones you want to see down in the comments. Or if you have any new ideas, I'm always up for those as well. I'm trying to get a few of the ones that I'm that are a work in progress done with. Just get a few of those off the table. Alright, come on. Why am I having trouble getting upside down? I was not having any trouble getting upside down. I'm gonna restart this uh, race session. I was doing a few tests earlier, I wasn't having any trouble getting upside down. No, now it's cloudy. Still cloudy. Don't want it to be cloudy. I need realistic weather, but I need it to be sunny. There we go. Excuse me. Alright, so is this attempt number three or four? Drifter plates off and the track temperature lowered, but aside from that, I don't think I've changed any settings. Well, I got upside down. Tried hooking my rear bumper on the nose of that 14 and I missed. Then when I tried correcting, I overcorrected and came back to the outside. Right there is when I tried hooking and then I tried saving it, but I was already too far gone. And talk about a brutal hit. Next. I'm watching the replay up on the laptop up here. Boom! Yeah, because there's about a 10 or 15 second delay. For me playing, and then the delay through the stream coming up on the laptop. Oh, oh. Got a long 
doing the a lot of the chores and stuff I needed to do last night that I said I was going to do last night I did today, which was supposed to be my day off. same issue I was having last time. Do I need to use a different version of Talladega? Maybe I'll try a different revamped after that. After a few more failed attempts of this one. Jeez. Oh. Oh. I was gonna try to do a race stream shortly after this one. I might have to take a nap in between. By the way, guys, only three and a half more months until I can stream again on uh, YouTube. As far away as it sounds, it'll only be like a couple of months into the NASCAR season by the time I can stream again on YouTube. As much as it sucks, there's nothing I could do about it and there's nothing YouTube could supposedly do about it fucking bureaucracy like hell they can't so they can pull my video they can put the copyright claim but they can't do anything to reverse it like hell they can't I wasn't gonna waste precious minutes of my life arguing a lost cause in a fight I couldn't win so I just decided to let it go stream on twitch fuck their policy I'll just work around it and then just stream again on YouTube when I can in a few months. That was a pretty cool wreck. It's not what I needed, but it was pretty cool. Why can't I stream on YouTube? Because I tried streaming my reaction to the race, basically in the same format I have now, with the race just on the big screen and my little face cam reaction in the corner. I tried broadcasting that live through a sketchy live streaming, uh, somewhat illegal live streaming uh, website that was broadcasting the race live. So I was doing that, which apparently that is fine in itself, but it's the second a TV commercial came on through the TV broadcast and then subsequently through my stream, the second a advertisement came on through my stream is when it got booted and kicked off and I lost my rights to stream for six months, even though I didn't have monetization on. I didn't have ad revenue on for that video because I knew broadcasting a NASCAR race that was against the rules, but even so, having the monetization off, or however the fuck you pronounce that, the second uh, commercial came on, it didn't matter if I had that on or off, my video was deleted and my rights, I didn't even get a copyright strike or anything, I just got my, uh, lost my rights to stream for what I thought was supposed to be three months, but it turned out to be six months. 
But as much as that sucks, it's already more than a third over. So yeah, it sucks, but I guess I should have done a little bit more research beforehand before I decided to do something like that. So if I do something like that in the future, once my streaming rights come back, I'm either going to have to cut the stream away the second a commercial comes on, or just do what I did with the Packer games and just record just my reaction and not really have the actual uh, broadcast on the screen, just kind of have it have the TV in the corner so you can still see what I'm watching but not actually have that be part of the screen itself. So the screen is just still all my camera. Whoa! I almost got turned a little bit sooner than I needed to be there. Why am I having trouble flipping over? Next. favorite episodes I'm watching the office I can't really say I'm watching it I have it on in the background but the company picnic episode is on the one where they reveal to the rest of the branches in the slum dog millionaire esque way that that one branch is getting shut down they reveal that to the rest of the company through a comedy sketch. Oh, Michael Scott. Right, I want to get spun off the 45, because I believe... He got spun off of Harvick in real life, but the 45 kind of has a similar colored paint scheme. Alright, why the fuck am I having trouble getting airborne? Or not airborne, just upside down. I was not having trouble getting upside down in the tests I was doing earlier. You know what? We're gonna try something. We're going to exit out of the game real quick. I am going to load up the track INI file for Talladega revamped. 2009. Go away, Dell backup stuff. Track INI, here we go. Alright, turn this up by one or one tenth each. Do that. Where's. Here we go. Turn this up to 90. Negative 90. Maybe that'll help get airborne easier and upside down with more ease. Alright. NASCAR Racing 2003 season. Switch this back to boom. Alright, let's see if that makes a difference. If not, I'm going to try my other Talladega revamped and see if I have more luck getting airborne with that one. So let's see if that made a difference. Except I still need it to be sunny in Philadelphia. There we 
go. There we go, except it, the track's gonna be a bit more slick. Who do we got watching this? Julio Caesar. Yes, I remember that finish. I actually tried doing a stream of that finish, and it kind of half worked out, but upon viewing the replays afterwards, I'm going to try redoing that at some point. Tiny ass laptop with even tinier text with my horrible vision. It's a great combination. Having it really far away, too. So let's see if adjusting the track temperature makes a difference by lowering it by another 30, 40 degrees, oh, or however much I did it by. I totally screwed that up. going faster, as you guys can see. Right, so let's try just Menard for test for here. Flag is out. Wow. <laughs> okay, that did make a difference. Alright, awesome. That was... I'm not going to say spot on, but that was definitely a step in the right direction. Definitely a step in the right direction. Alright, so definitely saving that one for a thumbnail at the very least. Watching the replay up in the laptop. Alright, so that definitely made a difference. Very first try, all right. 2009, <laughs> 20,009, Newman, flip attempt, one. All right, next attempt. All right, that was promising. Paranoid my microphone was off for some reason. Then I realized I've been communicating with people that are watching the stream right now, and there's no way that would happen unless my microphone is on. So that was a dumb thing for me to think. for my office chair I only have on here because my stupid cat scratch at it. This one's anywhere near as good as the last one, and I don't screw up the start of the attempt. Hopefully we'll be in for a good one. Once again, all the AI cars aren't going to be exact, but it's mainly the flip of Ryan Newman we're going after here, so I'm not too concerned about all those other cars. Alright, 
so upside yeah, down. Nope. Definitely the not. Too much debris on the track. Whoa, 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 slow down. It keeps going, kind of. I guess he kind of landed that. See what happened to him. Oh, he got hit by the 15. That's what happened. one up. Maybe this one will be decent. But yeah, so far the first one after I change the settings has been the best one. Another tumble. Alright, next. Need to stay on the roof. I need to try to do that maybe a second or so earlier. So I'm landing on my roof on the pavement. 
as opposed to the grass like I've been doing those couple of times. Let's see if that makes a difference. Alright, the delay on this one has gone down to like a minute or so now. I'm just starting to cross the start finish line from the last attempt on the laptop right now. the Buffalo branch they close. Damn it. Not even close. I need I need to somehow not go so far towards the inside of the track. I need to somehow get hooked on the bumper but not really go towards the inside, just get hooked and kind of spin right around. I'll try to just ever so slowly merge with the person whose bumper I'm trying to hit. Then just get hooked and then once it's hooked, let it... Let the momentum take away from there. Or take over from there, I should say. Uh, uh. Jesus. One sip of a beer and I can't talk. I should have more. If I have to do a part three to this, I'll get Kevin Harvick in the back of the pack and I'll adjust his ratings. So just add that little detail onto this reenactment. But for now, I'm just going to keep it the way it is. stuck in third. separated from the rest of the pack, but I'm still just going to try it on Michael Walter right here. That was kind of interesting. Now the blowover was alright, but everything after that... Because yeah, I kind of got hooked to him and didn't go quite as far towards that inside wall as I 
Well, I guess it's because I did it a little bit later into the turn, so it was a combination of both. Alright, how long is this stream been going on for anyway? Drivers, start your engines! 40 minutes. Alright, another 20 minutes or so. By the way, guys, I have a crash comp in the works. I'm just getting clips here and there as I'm messing around with the game. I'm just going to set it to some generic music, because for those of you that know, getting the game sounds to sync up uh, with the footage when you're using CCM is a little bit annoying and time-consuming. So for the sake of the crash comp, I'm just going to add some music to it, but... I don't add music to anything else, so. And I didn't add any music to my iRacing crash comp. Yeah, adding the original game sounds to CCM footage is really annoying and time consuming. But once I get to around five minutes of footage is when I'll put out that comp. Hopefully you guys like it. Using lots of different mods, lots of different tracks. We're going to add lots of variety. Now they're tumble. God damn it. How do I avoid that? How do I avoid going so far towards the infield? I need to get spun around but still kind of stay towards the outside of the track. Huh. Drivers, start your, your guess is as good as mine. Debris, huh? The car is tumbling through the grass. Debris. Drivers, start your engine. Hamburgers. How, Cody? How are you? I'm good. How are you? About 15 minutes left or so in the stream. 10 or 15. About 45 minutes in. Got one close attempt. That was right after I switched over some settings, but I haven't really gotten too many close ones since then. But I saved the attempt.
shifted into third way too early there, but that's still good. Oh yeah, good thing I have the difficulty easy so I can catch right back up to them. actually looking somewhat promising for a second but I kind of lost the momentum going through the grass to be able to go all the way up the all the way up the track from the banking or up the banking I think you have pink eye that's not good feeling about this one. If I don't wreck first. Oh. Maybe I need to go three wide. Or maybe I don't. And maybe I don't need to go three wide. Yeah, Harvick was involved in the flip, but I said earlier I'm not too concerned about the AI. If I do a part three, I'll adjust Harvick's ratings to be towards the back of the pack. But for right now, I'm just concerned about Newman's flip. Because that's going to be pretty damn difficult to replicate that one. So I'm more concerned with that than the placement of the AI cars. But if I do do a part three, I, <laughs> I said do do. But if I do happen to do a part three, if I'm unsuccessful for the rest of this stream, I'll try to make an effort to adjust a few of the AI cars, at least Harvick at the very least, to get him at the back. Because, yeah, I usually do try to get the details like that, but for harder wrecks like this one, or for more difficult ones, I'm just more concerned with the car flipping itself as opposed to all the ones around him and the exact placement of all the AI AI cars Enunciate Cody there you go until the last few attempts uh, or where I uh, restarted the game session that 45 of Kyle Petty was towards the back so I was using him to spin off of because he has a similar color scheme to Harvick circa 2009 
close to the inside of the track. I got it on the grass and I just started tumbling as opposed to staying on my roof. My roof. Am I streaming tomorrow? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Unless some weird unforeseen events pop up in the meantime. I cancel my plans. I should be streaming tomorrow. Alright, about eight minutes left on this one. Even though this new chair is helping, my back still gets a little sore when I'm sitting in the same spot for an extended period of time. tonight I should be I might have to take a nap in between because I'm feeling a little tired right now but should be doing another one tonight because I don't work a rare night off so I don't have to rush off to work later back on his wheels if he would have stayed sliding on his roof bounced off the outside wall slid back down the track on his roof and then flipped over in the grass and then landed on his roof that would have been perfect I wouldn't have cared about that first little tumble the one right there if he would have stayed on his roof all the way up through there and then down back the banking, that would have been awesome, but damn it. But the one I had earlier was similar to that, but even a little bit closer. So that's why I'm not going to save this one, because that one I saved earlier was similar to this one just now, but it was even a little bit closer than this one. So that's why I didn't save that one. So I got that other one, at the very least, for a thumbnail. Alright, this is probably going to be my third to last attempt. Close enough to an hour to where I can call it. By the way, real quick, I don't know if I uh, forgot the person's username, but someone was asking me earlier about... Uh, settings for the wheel because they're having trouble getting theirs calibrated so when you get your wheel set up just do the usual calibration through the software that comes with the wheel Logitech or whatever brand your wheel is then once that's all set up you load the game up you go into here then you calibrate all the things just like you would a controller like when you hit steering then you turn the wheel to the left to have that access and throttle, obviously, you hit the brake pedal, you get all that stuff calibrated. Then that should all be fine and dandy, but then make sure... When I first got my wheel, I didn't know this for the first few hours. I thought my wheel was broken or it wasn't compatible with the game. Have to check force feedback. Because this was off, and I was like, why is my wheel? It's just really tight, and it's not reacting at all to the track surface. It's just really tight and it keeps self-centering. Then you have to hit force feedback. And it's like, oh, that's why. Then here's the settings I use for the force feedback. Here's that. Here's my settings I have for everything else. Steering assistance off. All this stuff off. Boost steering at low speeds. I do have that on. So yeah, someone asked about my wheel settings. So I thought I would 
take a minute or two just to point that out. I'll probably make a video in the future, just maybe a short four or five minute video just explaining how to set up the G920 specifically for NASCAR Racing 2003. So I'm sure there's a few people out there that might have this wheel that play this game as well that are curious as to what settings to use for this wheel. I don't even know for sure, I just went based off some other YouTube videos I watch, so I have no idea if the settings I'm using are right or wrong, it just feels right to me. I just played around a little bit, I just kind of went by what other you tutorials said as well. I am not an expert by any means, I'm just mainly going by what other people have told me. So it's just make sure to take everything I say and every piece of advice I give you with a grain of salt. Just remember that. This is the third to last attempt. Yellow flag is out. There's too much debris on the track. God damn it. See, that was another. It would have been kind of promising, but me getting a little too far to the inside of the track and getting into the grass a little too much, that slowed down my momentum too much. What type of wheel do you have? I think I answered that. I got the G920. Logitech G920. It's one that's specifically for Xbox One and then PC. I do not have an Xbox One, so I use it just for PC. Although I might cave and get an Xbox One at some point if I win the lottery. There's a few pretty cool games I've seen for Xbox One that they don't make for PC. That look pretty damn cool that this wheel would be compatible with. However, I have a Sony. I do not have a PS4, but I have a PS2 and a PS3. And technically a PS1. So I have a, yeah, I have a PS1, 2, and 3. The only Xbox game or console I've ever owned was a 360, like, six, seven years ago that I had for maybe a year or two before the thing kind of shit the bed. I sold it. I haven't really had any Xbox stuff since. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily want to have to buy a whole new console just for... Just for a few games. The Thrustmaster wheel for PS4 and 3. So that'd be cool. I, I'd want to get a cheaper... Uh, this thing was about 300 bucks, Like, right on the dot, shipped. I don't know if I'd want one quite that expensive, but maybe uh, one of those Thrustmasters for a... Uh, maybe like around 100 bucks for my PS3. Would be fun to race around with. So I've got a few games on PS3. Like, i got a couple of the Dirt games. I have... A few Gran Turismo's, and a few Need for Speeds. I don't play my PS3 too often. I mainly use it for just having Netflix on in the background now, but it'll be fun to mess around with every now and then. The yellow flag is out. Let's go. Race back to the line. There's too much debris on the track. Do you know that was almost kind of like Elliot Sadler's his blowover. I have NASCAR 08 and 09. Those are the only NASCARs I have for uh, console, that is. That was almost kind of like Elliot Sadler's 2003 flip. Alright, last attempt. Then I'm going to get going. I should be back with another stream tonight. I might try to squeeze a nap in between. I'm feeling a little tired. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Oh. I gotta say, I want to try playing that Formula One six two thousand sixteen game. That looks nice. 
You know, all I hear people complain about, oh, the, the crashes are kind of buggy, the crashes are kind of glitchy. Who the hell cares? People that play racing games just for the crashes, it's kind of weird. And yeah, this game has amazing crash physics, but it also has amazing physics in general. People rip NASCAR away because the for the next gen systems because the crashes were a little buggy and the AI kind of did suck in that game. I'm not gonna lie, but the physics of the user driver car felt pretty damn a lot better than a lot of arcadeish racing games out there. Everyone always complained about NASCAR 08 that with all the driving assists off the game was really hard to control and the cars were hard to control without spinning out it's like yeah no shit if you have an 800 power or 800 horsepower car and you try flooring it yeah you're gonna spin out oh damn it damn it damn it damn it you all right? The yellow flag is out. Let's go. Race back to the line. You blew the engine. All right, God. Thought maybe if I turned over that last second, he would have stayed on his roof. Right there. I thought he was maybe going to spin a little bit more and get on his roof. Ah, uh, darn it. All right, that is it for tonight's hopefully first stream. I'm going to do a few things, maybe take a short nap rest up a bit and then hopefully I'll be back in maybe a couple hours to do some racing uh, stay tuned for that uh, if you guys enjoyed this stream please hit the like button thanks for all the followers and subscribers on twitch and YouTube I would not be doing these videos without the support from all you guys I really appreciate it be sure to hit the like button once again I really really appreciate it for each like I get it's that much more of a chance of my videos popping up on someone else's suggested me getting that much more subscribers and my channel building that much more. All thanks to you guys showing your support, so I really, really appreciate it. That is about it for me whoring myself out. Uh, if you guys, uh, yeah, all right. I was about to say the exact same thing for a third time. All right, stay tuned for later tonight. I should be back with some racing. Thanks for watching. Uh, until I see you guys next time, have a good rest of your night. Peace, guys. Bye.